Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Lilium unable to secure funding ceases operations. Crew 8 splashes down after months of delays. Eclipse Aerospace experiments with AI in business aviation. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Lilium unable to secure funding ceases operations. In a move that seemed to come out of left field, Lilium announced it's on the verge of insolvency and has ceased operations. On October 24th, Lilium NV submitted a Form 6K filing to the SEC stating that its managing directors of its two operating subsidiaries, Lilium GmbH and Lilium E-Aircraft GmbH, determined that they are over-indebted and will be unable to pay existing liabilities within the next few days. Lilium said it had been notified that the Parliament of the Federal Republic of Germany would not approve a 50 million euro guarantee of a 100 million euro convertible loan. The Munich-based company also has been in talks with the German Free State of Bavaria for a separate loan of 50 million euro, but have not reached an agreement in principle. Lilium has an order book for more than 100 of its Lilium jets, including an order of 100 units worth 1 billion euro by Saudi Arabia. Several units were also sold to Valair in the UK and had been in discussions with a Texas-based brokerage company to bring the Lilium jet as the first ever air taxi sold in the US. However, a fire occurred in its first prototype during maintenance work in 2020, and the company paused testing on the second, newer model to determine what caused the accident. After the break, Wheels Up acquires Grandview and announces fleet transition. For over 30 years, the Massive Sport Plane Resource Guide has provided expert, credible information, evaluations, and critical analysis of all that the sport aviation world has to offer. The all-new Digital Sport Plane Resource Guide is coming with extensive multimedia features that are constantly updated, and even more comprehensive online guide to all things sport aviation. Available soon. www.sportplane.com Flying is my entire life. It's all that I've ever known. I've relied on Hartzell propellers since about 1995. Hartzell means much more than a propeller. It's a relationship. When you hear the phrase, built on honor, they care about us as pilots, they care about our community, and they care about the product they build. It's such a proud honor to fly behind that propeller. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Wheels Up acquires Grandview and announces fleet transition. Wheels Up is acquiring 17 Embraer Phenom 300 and 300E light jets from Grandview Aviation and almost immediately launched guaranteed availability on those aircraft as part of its fleet revamp and modernization. Wheels Up also announced it's transitioning to the Phenom 300 and Challenger 300 350 aircraft, Wi-Fi upgrades, and an additional $332 million in secured revolving credit. The moves are part of the company's strategy to remake itself into a premier-level flight operation under the stewardship of Delta Airlines, who invested $500 million last year. Purdue Airport granted $1.5 million for Earhart Terminal Construction. The FAA recently designated $1.5 million to Purdue University Airport to support the construction of its new and improved terminal building. 
The nearly $12 million project, named after famous aviator and past Purdue employee Amelia Earhart, broke ground in May. The award can partially be attributed to the efforts of state leadership, including Indiana Governor Holcomb, Senator Young, Senator Braun, and Representative Baird. It's also linked to the condition of the airport's existing terminal building, which was built in 1943 and hasn't been renovated in 40 years. iFly EFB integrates Say Weather to its platform. Adventure Pilot has integrated Say Weather, an automated weather reporting system, into its iFly EFB platform. The integration is intended to bring enhanced situational awareness while promoting safety and efficiency for pilots. Say Weather offers weather advisories similar to automated weather observation systems for airports. The system uses calibrated weather data from on airport sensors to deliver clear and non distracting surface weather advisories to pilots. Pilots need only to key their mic four times to access the advisories. Dyer releases seventh version of Me and My TBM app for owner operators. Dyer introduced the seventh version of the Me and My TBM app at the 2024 NBAA base in Las Vegas, Nevada. The app has been an excellent resource for owners and operators since 2018 by providing real-time flight tracking, data monitoring, and maintenance scheduling. One of the key improvements in this version is the merging of Me and My TBM with Dyer's My TBM Docs application, which incorporates pilot information manuals, maintenance manuals, and more into a streamlined document management resource with usability across mobile devices and tablets. That's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Crew 8 splashes down after months of delays. The four astronauts from NASA's SpaceX-based Crew 8 mission successfully returned to Earth at around 3.30 a.m. on October 25th. Their stay on the ISS lasted eight months, 55 days longer than originally planned. Crew 8 launched from Florida's Kennedy Space Center on March 3rd with NASA astronauts Matthew Dominic, Michael Barrett, and Jeanette Epps, along with Roscosmos cosmonaut Alexander Krebenkin. The mission was initially scheduled to last 180 days. However, due to technical issues with the Boeing Starliner capsule and the aftermath of Hurricane Milton, they were forced to stay 55 extra dates. This marks a new record for SpaceX. The crew splashed down near Pensacola, Florida, after they traveled almost 100 million miles across 3,760 orbits. The astronauts completed research and technology demonstrations regarding the use of stem cells for degenerative diseases, fuel temperature's impact on flammability, and how extended space days disturb immune functions. After landing, the crew was moved to Ascension Sacred Heart, Pensacola, to receive health evaluations, quote, out of an abundance of caution. One of the crew members reportedly experienced a medical issue and was forced to remain at Ascension for monitoring. The other three were released and made their way to the NASA Johnson Space Center in Houston. After these messages, Eclipse Aerospace experiments with AI in business aviation. The legendary BD-4C program is building an exciting future for those who want a rugged four-seat family flyer with a proven history. The Surewings program produces a complete kit and builder assist program that gives you everything you need to be flying a BD-4CS in record time. For conventional kit builders, BD Aviation has parts, partial kits, and full kits for the 190 mile per hour BD-4C that has logged thousands of hours. Visit Surewings.com and BDAviation.com for more details. Hello, pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details.
Looking for a new generation of proven and efficient aviation power plants that boast modern engineering, electronic ignition, and both direct and gear drive systems? With 100 horsepower to 240 horsepower, the Skyline and Redline engines offer uncommon value in an overpriced industry. Whether you are looking for fixed wing or rotor, MW Fly Americas has been established to service the American market with dedication and expertise. MWFlyAmericas.com Welcome back. Eclipse Aerospace experiments with AI in business aviation. Eclipse Aerospace recently took to Dalian AI Visual Awareness Systems for a trial run. The company aims to use AI to improve flight safety and reduce pilot workload through traffic detection, landing guidance, and runway incursion avoidance. Jerry Chambers, VP of Engineering at Eclipse Aerospace, said, quote, Eclipse Aerospace pioneered the single pilot very light jet category enabled through a high degree of automation and system integration designed to significantly reduce the pilot workload in a high performance twin engine aircraft." End quote. The Dalian technology builds situational intelligence, the ability to comprehend the current environment and react accordingly. It uses machine learning AI paired with real-time transmitting aircraft-mounted cameras that can assist in landing, locating nearby aircraft, and navigating in non-GPS areas. To evaluate Dedalian AI's capabilities, Eclipse installed two cameras on its new 550 twin-engine jet. It's now performing detect and avoid flight tests above its Albuquerque headquarters. Following recent advancements, the presence of AI in all aspects of business aviation has grown significantly. It's been introduced as a method to enhance efficiency, safety, and customer experience. It's used in predictive maintenance where AI analyzes data from aircraft systems to predict potential mechanical failures, reducing downtime and maintenance costs. It can also be used in flight training to prepare pilots for various unexpected scenarios in business aviation operations. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.